Ladies and gentlemen, now today we've got week 9, Summer of Pain, and there is a ghost boss with the Haunted Note. So whenever Ghost is going to dash back, you get faulted for 3 seconds, and this is going to purify all debuffs on Ghost and give her a Fury buffs equal to the amount of debuffs purified. Uh, pretty much how Ghost works usually there. Uh, but one thing you need to keep in mind is while you are faulted, any damage dealt is going to be reflected back at you. So you don't want to attack in, I believe even if you've got a champion that can counter this mechanic, uh, it's still going to reflect the damage, I would assume, there. And on top of that, she's also immune to stun. She's got true focus. You've got no hit mercy as well. Uh, there's also spike for additional power gain and mystic ward as well. So buffs have a... Um uh, 95% chance to resist nullification. But I was having a little bit of a look at the objectives for this one, and it's do it with a Mystic Champion. Uh, if you're at the Thronebreaker level, there's also Metal and Villain, uh, and also Mercenary as well. So I was thinking, like, one character that I think covers both bases is Doctor Doom here, and for Mercenary, I haven't quite looked at the roster yet, uh, but yeah, I thought we'd jump in with Doctor Doom. I think Magneto, uh, considering that this ghost is, uh, what is it, a Metal Champion, Yen should I think be really good here uh, but I may be incorrect I think stun immune is like a little bit annoying but you can still um uh, what is it? Uh, get off those heavy attacks as well if you do play the fight very, very well. Uh, but yeah, I think we'll go for a greater champion boost here. Let's check on the 30% booster. We got a couple of these in overflow as well. And let's dive into this fight and hopefully I don't get absolutely embarrassed here. Oh, okay, yep. I, uh, <laughs> I immediately forgot <laughs> about the fault of mechanic, dude. Okay, right. We're back in the game now, boys. This was this is all part of my elite plan uh, to quickly get below 50% health so we can get more damage, you know? I, I value your time, and I want to make sure this video is as, uh, as quick as possible. So, you know, it kind of needed to be done. But yeah, Ghost is uh, not immune to uh, power control effects. But again, we can't stun her, I believe. <laughs> I don't want to risk it, uh, but I need to be a bit careful, I think, coming out of the special three, considering we can't stun. Okay, got to keep in mind we got the falter there. Right, let's go for it, mate. So, yeah, we'll see if we can, like, quickly cycle up here. Hmm. Again, not being able to stun is not that great for Doctor Doom's rotation. <laughs> But uh, we should still be able to, like, what was it, hammer in the damage quickly. Let's see what we can do here. There we go. Let's nick a bit of power. Perfect, mate. We do a bit more, a bit more firepower, man. <laughs> like a six-star rank three. That would, that would be handy here. That would certainly do us uh, some favors. Got to be super careful of that. Again, almost made a little bit of a mistake there. But this fight, it definitely seems um, quite possible to one-shot with Doctor Doom. You've like just got to take it slow and steady. And as long as you can do that, man, you're big chillin'. And just got to pay very close attention to when you are and aren't faltered. <laughs> I can't believe like I immediately got wrecked in this fight, though. <laughs> Oh, it's just a bit of banner for the lads, you know? That's exactly what it is. But come on, Doom, you got this, man. Let's chuck off that massive special three. Again, without the stun, it's very hard to uh, kind of quickly loop around and gain the, the tempo that you need to fuel up quickly on Doom and get, like, the double fury for bigger damage. So Doom isn't... I wouldn't say he's like the perfect solution for this fight. However, he works. And, uh, you know, if you want both of the objectives done in a single run, then yeah, it's a potential option there. I think Mojo as well potentially could be a bit of a spicy, uh, spicy option. Covers uh, a couple of bases. Because I think he's Metal, Mystic, uh, and Villain. Mojo is so good for what week was it? The Hydro, <laughs> Hydro Adaptoid Man. He was crazy for that week. Absolutely insane for that. Right, come on. We got this. We're at 66%. I kind of want to get... Oh, a special one? Oh, I should have been punished and wrecked there, man. I was, I was very, very fortunate that I did not get my cheeks clapped there. 
Yeah, I, I got a little bit lucky on that one, boys. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Oh. It's, the, it's just R and Jesus. He saved me there, man. Gave me a, a nice little pass on that one. Eternally grateful for that opportunity. We can't go in because we're phasing at the moment. Or faulted, should I say. Because, <laughs> yeah, we're not the one phasing. Right, let's go for it, mate. Let's go for it. Right, I think we'll just go for this. Special three, and then she shouldn't be close to the special three uh, before we can get in, because we can also, like, steal um, uh, power when she's close to it. <laughs> but yeah, it's going all right for a first try. Outside of the first uh, couple of seconds, eh? Okay, nice, yeah. Oh, God! Oh no, that's so annoying. <laughs> uh, it, was, it was a pretty good run though, man. You know, we, we did all right there. It certainly could have gone better though. I think again, if you have the um, uh, the patience and play it really, really safely, um, then yeah, that isn't too bad of a fight to deal with there. I think what we'll do is we'll sack up, we'll revive with Doom here and see if we can uh, finish off the fight. And then I think maybe test out um, uh, potentially one more option as a mercenary. But I feel like, you know, we got to get this done. It's 100% possible to do in a single revive, though. It's annoying when she um, just keeps on dashing back and you're <laughs> constantly in the phasing state, though. Right, let's do it. Bit cheeky, we love to see it. Or if you do want to play it like super safely, you can like just stick to spam and special ones. Um, I think it's probably better to do the special three D. As long as she plays ball and is like moderately aggressive. then it's not too bad. And yeah, I think like any champion can do this fight. Because, <laughs> you know, there's nothing like that special about, um, what is it, Dr. Doom in this one. You just need uh, Ghost uh, play ball and be relatively aggressive. But I think Mojo actually should work really, really well. Uh, maybe even better than Dr. Doom for a one-shot here. Because you've also got the uh, buffs on her, which, again, you can just turn into even more um, damage on Mojo. That is cruelty, man. Just a quick degeneration. I think, yeah, Mojo would theoretically work really, really well here. Unless there's something, like, big I'm missing. Which there could be. Right, let's check another five combo here. Okay, right. I was uh, <laughs> careful not to go in there. Oh, gosh. There are definitely like a couple of times in that first attempt where I should have got a million percent marked, not paying attention to the fourth timer. This time, we, we're being a little bit more careful. Still got a feeling Sank's coming to get me. Come on. Right, we'll go for this. Um, takes her like two bars of power, hopefully. <laughs> I, I found like the power flood was so aggressive uh, once she was almost at full power the last time, man. We really didn't, uh, what is it, wrangle her under control. Oh, come on, ghost. There we go. Fantastic. 
Not going to get too much value out of this Fury, but we're also in Assassin's range now, which is, uh, is great to see. Okay, let's go. Another five combo. We are faltered. Need to chill for a sec. Slow and steady patience wins this week. And also, <laughs> ghost, ghost throwing her special attacks as well. That's definitely a core component to uh, winning this week. Okay, right. Please just throw that special attack, ghost. Come on. Oh, damn. <laughs> all skill, boys. All skill. Some people in the comments are going to be like, see, you're so lucky not getting hit like three times when you totally should have got wrecked. But it was... It was all elite playing, boys, you know? By setting my uh, my prowess, my dominance, she didn't want to attack in, you know? You, sometimes you really got to put your uh, your back into it. But we, we got 1% now. We're super, super close. Come on, mate. One more one more hit. There we go. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, Dog to Doom, like, he works. He's not the quickest shot option just because you can't, like, um... Uh, what is it? Build on the tempo of those special three stuns to really kind of loop around. But hey, use Doom. Like, that's two objectives done. And then you've just got the Mercenary one to do, uh, which is a really, really nice time. Uh, so yeah, that one's done. But let's have a quick look at some of the Mercenary characters in the roster here. So looking at the list of Mercenaries here, again, we got Gwen, Paul, Domino, Luke Cage, potentially, Massacre. Uh, there's also Black Widow, Deadly Origin, and Hitmonkey. I think both of those would be really, really good for this fight. But I think we're going to try Gwenpool today. I don't have my six-star Hitmonkey leveled up yet, which I think is a, a bit of a crime. I need to sort that out at some point. But I thought we'd uh, just see how the fight goes with Gwenpool. Again, dashing back, she is going to remove debuffs. But if we can get a little bit lucky, again, she's going to aggressively throw those special attacks. Um, so yeah, this should work out all right. And I think this should be about the same as like Domino with uh, Class Disadvantage here. So we just want to hope that Ghost just goes straight for those special attacks. Because, yeah, she's going to hit <laughs> very, very hard um, if she removes too many bleeds and we take a blocked hit or something. But we just ideally want to get her in the corner. And then she just keeps on throwing special attacks. Okay, this is nice. This is what we like to see. Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> uh, well, that backdraft was very, uh, very, very, very un unsuccessful. Um, oh goodness! Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, I, I suck. So I thought we'd try out Luke Cage. You know, somebody uh, a, l a little bit more tanky in comparison. But really, like, I think any champion can work. You've just got to pay very close attention to the uh, the falter timer, and again, be careful with those backdrafts because. Um, if she does, like, dash back, then you're going to falter, and you're not going to hit anything, and she can, like, easy intercept you. So dash backs are actually super, super risky on this one. And something I actually didn't even consider when I was playing Doctor Doom, because we were playing it, like, super, super safe. But yeah, you got to be super careful if you go for a um, backdraft intercept. Because, uh, as, as we saw, it's a little bit easy to get massively screwed over. But again, slow and steady, boys. I think really is the, the name of the game. Hope that Ghost is very aggressive at throwing those specials. And that you can build tempo with one of the mercenaries. Because uh, I think a lot of them are fairly reliant on debuffs. You know, Black Widow, her shocks. Luke Cage, his exhaustion. Domino as well with her bleeds. So you just need to ideally get Ghost into a uh, corner. That's what you're after. But Luke Cage, you know, you're a nice safety net. You can, like, tank a special three if needed. Which is always, uh, always a good time, you know. Let's go for it, mate. But again, Luke Cage, like, looking at the hit count here, <laughs> even with the rank five, it's going to be out four, five hundred hits. So, yeah, just as a bit, bit of an example. And I'll finish this off, uh... 
what was it after we uh, get the video out? Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comment section below. Who did you use? Oh, actually, that's <laughs> damn it, just spicing up a little bit. <laughs> Who did you use this week for uh, Summer of Pain? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, and yeah, if you did enjoy uh, today's pain video, please do smash that like button. That'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you all very much for watching. Take care, and I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day.